you got to get a load of this. More interesting things have come up surrounding Kobe Bryant and the helicopter and all the events that we've seen occur over the last few days. Coincidence or not, that's for you to decide. But there's more and more things popping up. And you have to remember, this Egyptian god worship mentality that these Freemasons have, this is what they believe in, Egyptian worship. You see it at Whitney Houston's funeral where they even have this, what are the things called, sarcophagus sitting outside there. These people literally believe that they're the Egyptian kings and queens reborn again, and that there's constant rebirth through death. Get a load of these clips that pretty much talk about immortality and how Kobe Bryant wanted to die young so he'd be immortal because when people die young, they're immortalized in worship. This is Tracy McGrady, a former NBA player who was close with Kobe Bryant, describing this as well as Kobe saying, live forever, you know, be legendary. This sounds crazy, but Kobe spoke this. He spoke this. He used to say all the time, I want to die young. And really? I thought he was correct. He used to say, I want to die young. I want to be immortalized. And, you know, I want to have my career be better than Michael Jordan, and I want to die young. And I just thought he was just so crazy for saying that. Heroes come and go, but legends are forever. Heroes come and go, but legends are forever. One of the symbols that we see Kobe Bryant use, like I covered in other videos, is the Ouroboros. You see it around his M, his Mamba brand, which, by the way, is serpent, which I'll get into as well. None of this stuff is a coincidence. The Ouroboros is the rebirth, infinity. This is a common theme that we see with all of these people, these you know, people involved in Satanism and the occult, the Illuminati, whatever you want to call it. And the ancient Egyptian mindset was that they would die and they'd be reborn, repeating the events of creation over and over and over through rituals that were done in their temples, sacrifice rituals, offerings, ritual offerings of themselves. It's very, very hard for people to fathom this type of thing because people see everything in, a, in black and white for the most part. They see what they've been taught. They see the religions that they know about, which is, you know, Christianity, Judaism, you know, basic religions. Nobody realizes that these people do still do these Egyptian goddess and god worships of these deities because sacrifices entail the sacrifices involved. The Freemasons, even in their Freemasonic Bibles, are taught all this stuff. Now, it's hard for people to, I mean, to believe because a lot of it's embarrassing too. I mean, look at some of these gods and goddesses these people are worshiping. I mean, is this a bird walking around on two legs here? I mean, look at these things, you know? I mean, it is hard to believe that people, that people actually sit there and they believe in uh, Anubis and, you know, all of these just, you know, walking horses and falcons and all this nonsense. But this is what they truly believe in and believing in being immortalized, living forever like these Egyptian gods. They believe that they're, in a sense, them reborn. And you can see the, like I said, over and over, the amount of idol worship and immortalizing of Kobe Bryant has become insane. Every single show, remember the patterns I talked about with the repetition? Stephen Colbert, Ellen DeGeneres, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, Conan O'Brien, right? They all have the same talking points to open their show, not c cracking jokes or doing comedy, talking about Kobe, talking about how he'll live forever, how he's immortal. Think about that. This is a guy that played basketball. We're not talking about, I mean, no human being should ever be immortalized in general, but this is what they do. You know, these uh, Satanists do for one another. They constantly immortalize one another. But think about how bizarre that is with a basketball player. Now, one of the other things I want to point out, or two things that are really important, so stay with me here. The Mamba mentality is a saying. Mamba mentality. The Mamba is a snake. It's a serpent. Okay? So Kobe Bryant even shows himself, shows himself and depicts himself in his commercials for his shoes and stuff as a serpent. Turning it from a serpent into a person. I don't know why anyone would refer, want to refer to themselves as a snake. But this is another connection, right, into the occult. To worship the worship of the serpent in the Garden of Adam and Eve. Now, here's something that's really bizarre, too, with Drake that I'm about to tell you. But keep in mind, before Kobe Bryant went on this helicopter, him and his daughter, at like 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning, went 
to Catholic Mass for communion. Okay? So they went to a Jesuit Mass. We saw yesterday, in, in addition to that, is number 33 from high school being worn all over the place. I mean, Kobe Bryant, 76, just put number 33 from Lower Marion High School on the Wells Fargo Center Court. So they put the number 33 at the middle of the court, his high school basketball number. I mean, what, you know, for those of us who are awake who understand these codes from the Freemasonry to these other things that they constantly talk about with sacrifice and ritual and immortality to 33 Freemasonry, putting it right in the middle of the basketball court. And we think that's a coincidence. Then you get Drake, right? Drake, who apparently Kobe's helicopter, like I said yesterday, crashed right next to Drake and the Kardashians' estates in Calabasas, California. Why is that bizarre? Well, it's bizarre for a lot of reasons. Number one, Drake has a song where he's featured in a song by Rick Ross where he raps and he says, Kobe about to lose 150 M's. Kobe, my blank, I hate it, had to be him. Kobe, my nigga, I hate it, had to be him. So he hates that it had to be him. Then you see the picture that Drake posts on his Instagram account from when Kobe Bryant retired from the game of basketball, and you see what? You see the owl, the owl of wisdom. You know, you know the owl was always featured. People think that he just likes owls. Drake's a big owl fan. And it says Mamba forever. Pretty bizarre, if you ask me. So there's a bunch of things that are out there floating around. People are posting great stuff on my website at callforjumpbryson.com. So if you haven't subscribed, go check it out. Really weird surroundings with this stuff, especially... The fact that Tracy McGrady came out and said, you know, the basketball player in the beginning, how Kobe wanted to die young. He wanted to live a short life so that he could be, have a legacy and be immortalized. And people who die young are immortalized, which is 100% what they end up doing in this world, right? When they, people like Prince die at 50, which still isn't necessarily young, but it's not old, I guess, by some terms, they become immortalized. They become bigger after death than they were during life. But that's what Kobe Bryant wanted. He goes, he takes his, his Catholic mass beforehand, he gets on his plane, or excuse me, his helicopter, and then just like that, the entire country of this, you know, if you're not from America, the whole country is just, t every single TV show is talking about Kobe Bryant, and they're just saying, oh, what a hero, oh, what a hero. And like I said before, not even mentioning the stuff that he was involved with in Denver, where there's allegations against him, which would have got him in jail for life. It just got dropped because the girl didn't want to testify, because the girl got, you know, they put heat on her. She was fe fearful for her life, and nobody brings any of that stuff up, right? It's just, oh, he, he threw the ball in the hoop, and oh, well, he did, you know, the guy's writing magic Harry Potter books for kids. The guy's referring to himself as the serpent. He's using the Ouroboros the Ouroboros as his logo. You can't make this stuff up. There are no coincidences. There's always something surrounding this. And what's hard for people to wrap their head around is that these people do ritually offer themselves up as sacrifices. And that's what makes me think, wow, you know, maybe this is something to do with with all this stuff tying into how he you know because the mindset people have is oh they did this to him. They did this to him. But at the same time, these people offer themselves up. And then look how immortalized they become by offering themselves up to Satan. Now, I know it's a stretch for a lot of people to believe, but this is something I believe strongly in. You can study the Egyptian gods and deities. You can even study somewhere as simple as Wikipedia if you want, if you don't want to buy books on, you know, the Book of the Dead, which is, Egypt, you know, teaches about these Egyptian practices that they practice to this day. This is exactly what it's about. It's about idol worship, being an idol, being immortalized, living forever, being reborn. And it always seems to be surrounding these celebrities in one way or another. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below, especially about the, even the, I mean, everything's just bizarre. But from the Drake song lyrics to Kobe, who's, you know, requesting to die young so he could be immortal to the communion in the morning, for those of you who want to talk Jesuit. All of it, just 
more stuff probably coming out in upcoming days for the Mamba mentality, the serpent mentality. All this stuff's connected, folks. Always is. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.